today is Saturday the 26th and the temperatures are up. I am going to let Clara come into the goat house. I'm gonna put her in a kidding pen and hopefully in a couple of days she'll be able to be outside with the rest of the herd. Now if you're wondering why after they were born on Tuesday night, why I'm not letting them out as most people do after a day or two, it's just because the little ones are still not fast enough to run. So I'm gonna give her a chance to feed the two black little ones and I'm gonna continue to check their progress, how active they are and how much they're sleeping and all those things that really will help me determine if she really is giving them enough milk or if they need a bottle which I would actually milk her because she does have a good production of milk if anything the problem is that the little ones are not able to fight long and hard enough to get a teat so if I continue to see this improvement outside then that's awesome and if not I'm gonna start supplementing with bottles for the little ones Hello! You ready to see your mom being your mom and not a buck? Me too. This, uh, these are the minerals that I changed them to. It's the Mana Pro ones. I had them on Mana Pro, but this is the one that contains, and this is the number, the number, the name I couldn't remember, ammonium chloride, which is not only good for the girls, but great for boys too, if you have them on alfalfa. I don't give my goats grain, uh, the boys grain, Maybe as a treat, if I run out of uh, alfalfa pellets that I give them every morning and a little bit of night, but you have to understand that it's a cup for three boys. Um, and I'm just talking about a small cup for three boys. That's kind of a treat. But still, to make sure that they stay healthy, and this is something that I learned recently that this is something that it's great for girls and for boys too now some people have been giving me crap because of putting them inside but at this point it's just a matter of you know what's best in your case in your position in your farming with your animals so please don't take it like advice that i'm telling you to put your goats inside no that's not the case um you most certainly can take kids inside and you don't have to take them out if you feel like they're getting cold. I just wanted them to bond. And I think that by having the kids being in, hello, Mr. Fluffy, we do you, I love you. And by having them, I feel like by having them inside for three, four, even a week, it's really gonna pay off in the long run because once they are bonded and once they are together it's gonna give me peace of mind for two or three months when I decide to wean these kids and let them go to new homes so yeah I mean I calculated the work I guess between keeping them inside and have to clean that pen every day have to switch the cardboard underneath have to you know if you walk inside my kitchen it doesn't smell like anything um, everything is very clean it's just the piling up of things that make it stink so if I'm able to keep it clean I can achieve all my goals which is pretty much have healthy boys bonded to or healthy kids bonded with their mom um, somebody who's gonna keep an eye on them protect them and at the same time just you know make my life easier in the okay. long run Today's the day. 
You're going to go outside with your baby. And outside is the mother speaking. They're going to go into the kidding pen where she delivered the baby. You are going to have your last breakfast here in your um, hospital room. <laughs> And then today's gonna be nice and warm, and you'll be able to take care of your baby. Okay, go, go over there. Go. We're gonna bring your children. They're coming, Clara. I know, Mama. I know. Okay. Yeah. You're back home. Children are here. Hi. Hi. Hi, Mama. Hi. Look, children are coming. There you go. Oh, they're nursing. They're coming. Mr. Blackman and Mr. Cow are coming. They're like, where's the camera? I'm the star of the show. Oh, look at Mr. Cow exploring. Is you, are you the floater of the family? home. <sighs> For a few days. Oh, Mr. Cow is still little, and Mr. Black is also <laughs> very, very little. But as you can see, he's getting the idea that that that's what he needs. He needs milk. Look at Clara, back to her before kid's body in no time. Excuse me, Mr. Black. What is it that you think you're doing lost over there? Yes. So stinking cute. He's exploring. He's an explorer. Claire loves that boy. He is so tiny, but she knows when I'm talking about him and she's always checking on him to make sure I didn't take him from her. Look, can you see Mr. Cow? He's like, excuse me, brother. Make some room for me. Look at that heart. Look at that cute heart on his back. So they're, they're, they're going to nurse and then they're going to find their way into the box. I was trying to make them do that just so they'd be safe. Uh, it's not that I don't want them to snuggle with mom, but they were just too little and I thought she could lay on them or step on them or something. Look at that little girl. You little girl. You know I'm talking about you, huh? Claire's like, let me count my children. One, two, three, four. Okay, fine. She didn't take any from me. I don't trust this lady. She wants to give them bottles. She wants to make them fatty. It's gonna take Clara a while to adjust that this is her new space. But she'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. It'll be fine. I'm gonna be there, you know, where we were. And you're gonna be just fine. Mr. Black, he's so hungry. Yeah, he's so hungry. I'm still not 100% sure about these two little ones or two black ones. But I have Guy and Brie jumping on me like, hey, we're babies too. Yeah, they are babies too. But hopefully they'll still get the idea to go nurse. See? Now they have that instinct and now they know where the food is. So it was good that they were inside for three days because I was able to put them under the teeth and show them where it was and kind of get them a little bit heavier so they could be more active and need more milk. So yeah, I think it's it was good for them to be inside for that time. You know, Clara needed more room that was getting a little bit cramped because they as you can see they're being more active so i think this is the perfect size for them to be in here oh parents not very gentle with his children that's why i'm afraid for these two black ones but i want to give her a chance i just don't want to assume the worst so you be a good mama okay clara I know you are a good mama. Look, they're trying to go under <laughs> the door. Let me just make it easier so they don't want to. I'm gonna cover the outside so they don't see light. Okay, so I think 
Thank you. You're eating minerals? Okay, that's a good thing. Check on your children, they're being naughty. Mr. White is trying to get in trouble. <laughs> Look at Mr. Flag, he now got the idea. Okay, Claire, I'm gonna leave you with your kids, okay? Be a good mother, please. Don't step on them. Don't kill anybody. Now I'm left with this mess. In a heater with no babies. And it's raining. So I'm questioning my timing. And if you were wondering how bad the cleanup was, she just peed in one spot. All the time that she was here, most of the time that she was here. So I made sure that I do double and sometimes triple layer where she peed. And these boxes are gonna go straight in my garden. They're gonna decompose and that pee, it's actually great nitrogen to help break down all the compost that I already have there. Now, as you can see, I mean, of course there's gonna be cleanup, but most of the straw is clean. I mean, she'd pee in this pot, but I'm still going to compost everything that I got from here because the cleanup is really not that bad. Um, I mean, <laughs> as I'm showing you, this looks terrible, but that is the bag of straw that I got from here. As you can see, it's mostly dry, and I'm just gonna finish it up. Okay, so no, <laughs> only Mr. Cow. <laughs> okay, so he is two pounds. What the heck? 8 ounces. So he is 2 pounds, 8 ounces, and today is day Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Day 4. So today he is 4 days old. Come here, meet the cow! Mr. Black. And Mr. Black is 2 pounds, 6 ounces. You are such a big boy. Jump. Ali, I'm done. Jump. Give me out. Hi! Hi! Good boy! Good boy! Okay, Mr. Cow, we need to take your temperature. He doesn't want to. He wants to. It's 101.3. So he's good. He's nice and warm. Your mama is keeping you warm. Yes, sir. This one is not doing amazingly amazing. It's only 100.7. Hi, Mitty Cow. Oh, careful. He's gonna jump. What are you doing? Okay. Sir, no. Oh. There you go. Mitty Cow. Whoa. He's three pounds. <laughs> 15 ounces. She is 3 pounds. No, what she is 2.3. 3 pounds, 2.3. Two so, from day one, uh, Cow, the first boy, black and white, was 2 pounds. 0 0.8 ounces and on day 4 he is 2 pounds 8 ounces so he's doing pretty good he was 101.3 on temperature so he is nice and warm uh, this is the first day that they're gonna be outside so I'm kind of worried that you know that there will be plenty warm and it's about seven o'clock at night then mr. black is today is two pounds six ounces and when he was born was one pound fifteen point five ounces so he also had more than eight ounces now they should have been 12 ounces heavier today but they're not it took a while but still some progress and his temperature was 100.3 oh <gasps> the whiteness in this family I the super white boy 
and super white girl. I, I they hop reading. Oh, hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. She's like, I know this place. This was my my house yesterday. I mean the morning.